To see for ourselves the conditions within the workplace, we visited Southern Designers, a supposedly reputable factory that supplies Nygaard and employs over a thousand women. Talking at length with one of the managers, I was shocked by the way he viewed the workers as a commodity, simply an asset to be used for their own means. Here, basically, uh, the people are very hard-working people. Yeah. Yeah. You tell anything, they'll do it for you. So they are raw people. Okay, you can mould them as much as uh, as what you can. Yeah. This is the best part of these guys. Yeah, yeah. So you can okay. use them. Yeah. However you can. Yeah. So how much? Uh, roughly a month. How much? So average work. Uh, maybe uh, sixty to seventy dollars. Uh -huh. So yeah. obviously whatever we give, they are happy with that. Yeah, happy with that. They don't know what exactly they have worked. You have plenty of people over here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Plenty. The labors are very cheap. Yeah, yeah. Whilst the company are expected to provide childcare, I witnessed just one plain room with one supervisor and only a handful of children. <laughs> so, so there's like uh, 1,000 workers, 10 children? Yeah. The NGWF campaign that only through a fair price, offered by multinational buyers, can workers achieve a fair wage and the rights that go with it. So let's say, uh, so these sell for uh, Nagat sell these for uh, thirty-seven dollars. Yeah. How much do you get for for this jumper? If you uh, if you uh, buy from the stock, yeah, uh, they're very cheap. Very cheap. Like how much? Two dollars a piece.